Well, 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 Gun Goose Gambit. After weeks of hiding behind a pixelated image, you are finally revealed. And you are glorious. <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. It's a good day for the Mega Constructs community. We finally have a crisp HD image of the Mega Constructs Gun Goose Gambit. This set... Woo-wee! It's a beauty. It's a real beauty. Halo Infinite, you know, Mega Constructs has been releasing every six months these beautiful single vehicles with loads of figures. They've been selling like hotcakes. They're incredibly popular, and they're always bringing in a lot to offer. At first, we had a Mongoose, then we had the Hijacked Ghost, and now we've got the Gun Goose Gambit. And you know what? I was playing on the Gun Goose in Halo 2 the other day, that thing, it's pretty dang weak. Like, it takes a long time to kill anything. But I got really excited. Like, I'm pretty hyped to get my hands on this both in set and in game. Let's break it down piece by piece, boys. We'll start with the Gun Goose, of course. Now, the first thing I've noticed, now we have a HD image, is this camo is actually pretty exceptional. It mixes between lots of different shades of blacks, grays, whites, all around. I imagine the way it's molded, every single Gun Goose will be printed differently. Like, this is not printed detailing. It's more like injection molding. I think about when they, like, make lollipops or ice creams and it's, like, swirled in through the molding process, almost. Same thing thing with this Mega Constructs. They've got a really nice camo design, which I couldn't see when it was pixelated, but it looks great. I've also been told that the holsters for the Gun Goose turrets are new pieces. The other pieces, it pretty much just copies from the original Mega Constructs Halo Infinite Mongoose, but this one, it does have some really nice turrets and some additions towards the front. Not so many more details other than the addition of a really nice camouflage. The Mongoose last year, I think, was generally very well received. The Hijack Go I know that a lot of people preferred the Halo Wars 2 banished ghost, but this gun goose, nah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We've not had a gun goose in so many years. The one that came with Noble 6 and then a couple of others after that, they were all pretty good. I really liked the Noble 6 one at the time, but obviously I think most people will agree what steals the show here is the figures. We have got four. Count them four amazing figures, and there are some really good new molds here. First of all, we've got the Marine. I've seen some people don't really like it, especially the fact that it doesn't have any shoulder or leg armor or attachments. I kind of don't mind. It seems from afar like it's just jet black. I can't really tell, but then definitely the second part of the arms is like a skin color. It seems like the Marine is wearing gloves, but yeah, it's got exposed arms, which I do really like. Then it's got the Romeo helmet that we saw in the Marine Sniper. It seems like that helmet is just kind of being tossed around. It's not consistent with anything, which I don't really like. I hope that it at least matches the color of his chest. I'm not exactly sure, but the helmet definitely needs to be a new color or it needs to match other parts of his armor. It can't just be the exact same as the Marine Sniper. That wouldn't make any sense. Obviously, it's the one that's going to be driving this gun goose. But really, what well, well, we've really got to talk about is these banished. I mean, my goodness. My goodness. We've got a Jackal Sniper in new articulation, boys. And we haven't had a Jackal Sniper since the Mega Construct Scarab, which obviously most people wouldn't be able to buy or even get hold of. So it's nice to see it in such a cheap set. A Jackal Sniper, guys. Jackal Sniper. We knew that Jackal Sniper were coming to Halo Infinite because the Jazzware World of Halo scale had it in day one. And I've said before, World of Halo is definitely like a Halo Infinite specific thing. They wouldn't release anything that is not going to be an Infinite. So I think the same would ring true here. We've got a Jackal in both Jazzware and Mega Constructs. So we're going to be being sniped in Infinite, boys. We're going to be sniped across the map. I honestly like... Anytime I hear people complain about Halo 2 Jackal Snipers, I just think you ain't trying hard enough. Like, they make the game challenging, but that's really good. Every other Halo Legendary game, you can get through every single part of the game, like every single autosave. In at least one or two attempts, like in Halo 2 Anniversary, you really have to take care of your ammo, you really have to pick your targets, and teamwork is vital. So, like, I'm really looking forward to Jackal Snipers. I just wonder how it's gonna work with Jackal Snipers also being inclusive of 
a open world game? Are they going to be able to scope you from like unbelievable distances away? We're going to have to see. This new articulation jackal also comes with, yes, a insertable, uh, what would you call it? Visor? Yeah, a sniper visor. And I always thought when the original jackal came out in the Halo Infinite Warthog, I thought it was a bit of a shame that it had a hole in its head. It just seemed like a waste. I knew it was building towards something, but I still don't like the holes in the head. That's why I don't have any elites with their helmets off. I really would like to, but those those uh, holes in the head are just too much. It's good to see that that hole is being filled, and this jackal sniper looks amazing. I hope that there's some detailing. I think you can kind of see a little bit of green lighting on his visor. That would be really nice. It shouldn't just be a plain color. So you're looking pretty good there, Kigya. I gotta say, you're a pretty, pretty attractive little jackal. <laughs> jackal snipers. Just really excited about that. New articulation, affordable set. It's wonderful. But then we gotta talk about these brutes. I mean, my god. My god. This brand new brute captain and brute miner. Just both of them in one set, man. Like, what an overhaul. We could definitely see those in the blurry image, but now they're up close and personal. They're just fantastic. The red and blue are perfectly contrasting colors to each other, and so, you know, iconic of Halo. And they come with some brand new armor pieces for sure. We're still identifying some of them, but that brute captain, man, ah, oh, his helmet, his definitely, they've got like nice soft plastic, like, uh, what would you even call them? Like, uh, they, they're so of like shoal things that drop down uh, to the knees and they look really, really great. It reminds me honestly of the Brute Lance Pack uh, back in Halo 3. I d it's it's so good. They share the same as the Marine where half of their arms are different colors to the other half, but then that also seems to be true for their legs and it's even a different color from their skin, from their arms. So there are a lot of different colors going on here, a lot of attention to detail. I would like to see like a little bit of silver detailing like etched marks or even the banished logo printed on their bodies. I wouldn't hold out hope. But when you zoom in on that red bodyguard, it kind of looks like he has some silver detailing. Maybe even on his helmet. It is just very difficult to tell what's like a render or what's a reflection of a flash. Like, we don't really know. But all in all, these figures, whoo dandy, like these figures are exceptional. You can also check out my other analysis of even the blurry image because I went into a lot of detail there about these figures. And we'll talk about the weapons as well. A purple carbine, a shock rifle, which which from the image kind of looks painted. Again, it might be a glare situation. And then we've also got a mangler. They're pretty basic weapons, but what do we have over here? It's the new commando rifle. The new commando rifle. This thing, this thing looks amazing. I mean, uh, yeah, I, we've all been hyped for it since the commando rifle was teased in Halo Infinite campaign demo. And I thought it would come out earlier than this, but maybe it was an asset that they were keeping tip top secret. And now it's gonna be in like a billion sets. It it clearly doesn't have any painted detailing, but what is really interesting is it maybe looks like it detaches into pieces. Maybe. A lot of people said that when I'm looking at it, maybe not. It, it looks like the stock might come off the back, which in terms of customization of weapons, which when we know is a big part of Infinite, that could be a possibility. It could even come into like maybe three sections. It would be really cool if the magazine removed, but it doesn't look like it does. If you can remove and interchange things, it looks like it also has a rail on top. So there's definitely going to be some commando customization, both in infinite and in Mega Constructs form. My friends, this is just a quick little video releasing this HD image into the world. I want it to get to as many people as possible. All in all, folks, I mean, a brand new gun goose with some new pieces for sure and really nice camo. We've got this marine, which I think is a little weird how it's got the Romeo helmet, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt for now. Then these two beautiful new monkey boys, very attractive monkeys, and then also this jackal sniper. Bang up set with a commando rifle you got me sold. I hope you enjoyed this video with the domain. Just another news video. Check out my end cards at the end of this video for more of the upcoming news. Like we've had so many leaks recently. It's been amazing. And Halo Blind Bag Series 3 is starting to hit stores. There are loads of HD images of the 20th anniversary pack online. Goodness me, is it a good time to be a Halo fan? I'm feeling hyped for the future. So let me know in the comments down below what about this set are you most excited for? We'll see you next time. You have a great day. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, the domain is signing off.